Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul here at Northwest Indoor Golf. And today I wanted to take you through a piece of technology that we're using, a force plate called the Body Track Pressure Mat, uh, and show you how we use that in our lessons to help you improve your game. So the Body Track Pressure Mat is a uh, doormat looking object which you will see on the screen just now and this particular device uh, connects into our computer alongside our high-speed video cameras so what we can actually get is an overlay of both data from your interaction with the ground how you press your feet into the ground how your weight moves around in your golf swing so we can overlay that data onto the video and actually see how you're interacting with the ground without having to rely on a description or a feeling because one thing we've probably all realized now is that the golf swing feel and the golf swing reel tend to be quite a way apart from one another so uh, one of the biggest things that we've got when we're coaching is that when you feel you're doing something it quantifies data that otherwise we would be relying on a subjective a description so if you've been for a lesson before and the the instructor might say where does it feel your weight is or where do you feel you're swinging the clubs now we're not relying on interpretation so we use trackman which measures both club and ball data which means there is no guesswork it gives us a definitive measurement which we can then benchmark and improve and this we will almost call it a launch monitor for your body which quantifies to us with hard data that your body moves in a particular way your pressure moves in a particular way and then we can start to associate various triggers that we see from the pressure analysis and relate that back to your swing and ultimately help you improve faster so I'm going to jump over onto the mat, I'm going to hit a couple of shots and I'm going to take you through a very basic analysis of my pressure trace. I also have a secondary TV up on this wall which you should be able to see on the other camera angle that allows me to uh, display also live what we're, uh, what we're seeing. So, and this is great because it also gives us some live feedback options as well. Now in this instance I'm just going to hit record, jump on and take a shot so it does take a second just to calibrate where you are so if i just give it a little countdown to there we go so it's found me and centered me on the mat and i can make a full hit okay so i've turned the video and you'll see that i've got this box up in the corner which shows me a couple of footprints now we've got it um oriented left foot right foot front our toes and back heels um for weight you also see this little white dot in the middle of the screen which shows the center of pressure as measured at any one time so as i make this swing i can cycle through the different stages of the swing so uh, p2 which is just the initial takeaway p3 as the body starts to rotate and then p4 being top of the backswing now if i cycle through those slowly you'll start to see as i rotate in the backswing more my right leg actually creates a pivot or an anchor which is how I generate power and respectively you can start to see on the pressure trace that I start to get a real heavy uh, interaction with the ground out of my right heel and this is my lower body resisting the twist of my upper body. Now I've had this discussion a number of times with students where actually it feels like they're achieving this particular pressure trace however when we put them on the analysis uh, video it in fact isn't the case and that then has a knock-on effect on the sequence and because as i had a good pivot in my backswing it allows me to drive into the ball 
really shift my weight through the ball and compress the ball to create good ball speed, to create good efficiency, to create good distance. So guys, this was just a quick overview of the uh, V1 video analysis alongside the body track force plate. This is something that we use readily, uh, actually probably one of the most useful tools in the arsenal for improving people's golf. You can see just how subjective a golf swing could become if you haven't got this concrete information. If you can, I would definitely encourage you to take a golf lesson or certainly try and find an instructor who has this facility um, it's completely eye-opening. So uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, get yourself subscribed, and we'll see you again in another video very soon.